Welcome back to a new episode of playing Call of Duty Mobile and talk about some energy related topics. You can see on the right hand side the fracking tower on this map. And that is the topic we'll talk about today. Let's uh, talk about fracking or, uh, to be more precise, hydraulic fracking. So the idea is that we get uh, gas or oil from uh, deep layers. You see here this fracking tower, this drilling rig. So let's jump and first of all, of course, get a weapon to be prepared and get rid okay, of this device. Yeah, so uh, what, is, what, what is the idea of, of fracking? Um, there's a... Uh, still a large demand of uh, uh, natural gas or oil. In this case, this is an oil fracking uh, location. And in particular in the United States in the last years, in the last decade, there was a big boom of uh, fracking as uh, the, due to a lack of conventional uh, oil or gas resources, which can be used. And it's getting more and more interesting from an economic point of view to uh, do this fracking. So what is the idea, the, the, main, the main principle? Um, you, you drill a deep hole into a, the deep layers. Uh, it's up to three kilometers deep. Oh, wait a minute. There's someone running. Let's send the dogs to get some assistance. Okay, there's someone else. Where are you? Can you hear some steps? Oh, damn. Should be a second guy. Chip terminal or the dog is coming back. Okay, so uh, then let's get back to the topic. So what what we want to do is we want to get the the gas or the oil uh, from deep layers. So in this case we don't have. Uh, what that for a jet fighter? Need to be somehow cautious, I think. Uh, always this disturbing enemies here in this game. Um, yeah, we want to to extract the gas, the oil, whatever we can get access. So there's no, well, the, 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 this gas is in small holes uh, deep in, in, in the layers, three kilometers up to three kilometers depth. So what you do is you try to drill a deep hole um, into the soil. Um, and then you press the fracking fluid. Can someone's... Where are you? Oh, number one. Okay. Perfect. You see all these uh, barrels here um, on the, at this location um, holding all these fracking fluids you need for this process. So under high pressure you pump these fracking fluids containing up to 700 different chemicals. Um, which perform different tasks deep in these layers. You have some sand, you need fresh water uh, to pump this into these layers uh, to extract the gas or the oil. And um, yeah, then you can pump this or get this, this, this oil, this gas. Um, of course, this is 
much more complicated than having a conventional oil uh, weld or a conventional gas uh, weld uh, because you have these uh, uh, smaller locations with uh, less amount of oil um, so using these uh, fracking locations they do not last that long and um, you need more of these and that is of course an, an issue because yeah, they are in particular across Europe uh, no, not across Europe uh, across the United States several thousand of these locations I think we can leave this because I think we've seen all main parts of this fracking location this rig um, technology or the concept is rather simple well understood well known so there's no that's not a new technology it's, it's just more expensive let's get an upgrade for our docks um, uh, for the United States, that was a very important development because they have had, uh, they have been, a, uh, well, they, they needed to import uh, oil and gas from the global market. And then, um, due to rising costs of oil and gas on the global market, it's got interesting to drill these holes to do this hydraulic fracturing. Um, as an alternative way compared to the conventional um, drilling and this um, yeah, led to a very interesting development let's get some better armor and the arctic 50 perfect that might be helpful Helicopter's coming, let's get to a safe place somewhere. Yes, this is pulling a higher level guy. Can we see someone? Just the helicopter. Airdrop incoming. Hmm. Let's send the dogs. Okay, it's getting away, unfortunately. Airdrop has been delivered. Oh, but let's stay in this house. That is a safe place to discuss or. Uh, I think we can have a look where is he flying to, flying long range. I think we should get into the center of a safe zone to be prepared for the shrinking of the safe zone. I think. Yeah, this, this development in the United States has led to, uh, on the one hand, a uh, drop of uh, the import dependency. So the United States are now again an export company, a uh, country, not company, export company, uh, exporting oil and uh, natural gas on the global market. Uh, let's grab this airdrop here at uh, Rivertown. Get a better first weapon. Okay, and then let's get back into the safe zone. Now. You see, riding this uh, car, of course, he uses uh, gas and. Um, Okay, yeah, the heli is waiting, so let's be cautious again. Some boxes, okay. Someone's near, let's... Oh, there he is. Where are you? 
for their And the next one. Oh, damn. Damn. Airdrop has been delivered. Well, you. Next ox. Uh, perhaps you can get him before continuing to talk about fracking. Let's hurry. Here you should be. I can hear your steps. behind the wall. Okay, well, that was not that easy. Yeah, the, the, this freaking boom has led to uh, interesting development, as I said, that the United States got, uh, well, are an export country. Uh, they can export oil and gas uh, that has led to a decrease of the or drop of the costs uh, for oil and gas, although it's more complicated and more expensive technology. And what you have to keep in mind is that uh, there are, of course, some severe issues regarding the environment. Um, for example, oh, well, there's the helicopter. Let's just get a... Uh, Ah, got him in the heli. Perfect. There's the fighter. Let's destroy the fighter. Okay. Yeah, some severe environmental issues as um, the water is high, highly toxic, it can't be treated um, in this huge plant. And so if this uh, fracking fluids, if the water gets in contact with the groundwater, of course we have uh, a big health issue. Um, these fluids um, can lead to cancer, for example, or other severe illness. And that is, of course, a very big disadvantage. Oh, oh, damn, damn, damn. Let's get into the house. And upgrade our armor. Okay, some custom weapons. Yeah, that that, that is the the, the main uh, criticism that these uh, fracking uh, wells are a, a, a big environmental problem. Let's send the dogs. Oh, again, two guys. Need to be cautious. Here you are. Number one and number two. Oh. And of course, this is um, this has to be considered um, that um, yeah, we have some uh, discussion in particular in the US. Um, that the big fracking companies, of course, uh, try to uh, tell the people that there is no risk. Of course, there's always a risk uh, if you do this uh, in a proper manner. 
the risks are rather small. Yeah, but uh, if you want to save the money, wait a minute. Some grenades. Okay. Let's get back into our safe house. Yeah, so if you want to make a lot of profit, of course, then uh, you might take some risks you uh, shouldn't take. Um, yeah, and in Europe there is no large factoring um, business uh, due to uh, higher regulations regarding the environmental protection. Um, the US, as I said, are using this. Where is our safe zone? Um, let's. Okay, the last one. Uh, and in the future, I think, personally, the fossil business, of course, will re rely on fossil fuels uh, much too long. But, um, and fracking has led to a drop of the prices on the global market. But, um, yeah, in the overall future, we probably will stop using fracturing. Um, as we are, oh, there you are. We have some. Oh, these environmental issues are more severe than the advantages. Okay, let's send the dogs and let's do the rest. Okay, got you. So, thanks for watching this episode about hydraulic fracturing. And see you next time. Bye-bye.